Hello, I'm Amelie and welcome once again to my channel. Today I'm going to be watching episode 22 of Word of Honor. And let's make, I'm not going to spend a long time in the intro because I've literally just finished episode 21. Uh, I haven't even moved. It was literally a minute ago. And I don't know. I assume that a lot of people watching this maybe watch one after the other. So I'm not going to repeat everything that I said in the last episode about my opinions. Um, for this episode, I'm very excited about the reunion between Wen Kishin, Shou Sushu, Cheng Ling, and Gu Xian and Shao, uh, Cao Wenin. Um, so, uh, I, I'm excited about that. And let's just start the episode. Again, not a, a, a the, the, the last episode, the last episode, the intro was like 15 minutes. So let's make this one short and sweet. So as usual, I'm watching on YouTube. I'm putting, uh, the timing of the video in the, uh, video itself. Last episode, I had like, uh, a commercial appear, an advertisement appear, like in the middle of the episode, which has never happened to me um, while watching things here in YouTube from this channel, at least. Uh, so I don't know if that happens again, then I'm going to do the same thing as I did the other day. I'm just going to, you know, skip it and then start the counting again from the time, from that timing. So uh, nothing, just uh, to let you know. I hope it doesn't happen, but if it does, that's that's what we are doing and um, okay so i'm starting at the minute 51 mark and let's go to the episode in three two one and go pretty sure this one has to be in english because it is i started right away it cannot change right oh they're all together i love ah uh, look at this family wait why are you in spanish why you keep changing to spanish i hate you English. There we go. Oh, he's so nice. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so adorable. That's what I mean. Show to show is like <laughs> he's so cute now. <laughs> like that hill tilt. Oh, I loved it. <laughs> yeah, he's not happy. He did this, the thing with a fan. Oh my god, I love this. I love this. I love Show I, I, they are so adorable. <laughs> yeah, he, he, he could hear you. I guess he doesn't care. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, he had been hurt. Yeah, by those uh, the ones who dressed in matching outfits. Oh, look, there, look how cute they are! Oh, Wenkashin is not loving this. <laughs> I love how their relationship is more like brother and sister. Oh, what is he going to do? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, I remember. Where is she? Yeah, only one of them is looking for her. I remember Shen Shen was looking for him, right? <laughs> yeah, didn't he, like, stab himself during the Heroes Conference? 
<laughs> oh, he's really uncomfortable with that. I mean, wasn't he gone? Did he stab himself? Did I imagine that? I seem to remember that he stabbed himself, right? I love the fact that one can, like, obviously now we know that it's because his parents were from the Healer Valley, but he, had, I think, has always been inclined towards, like, medicine and, and curing people. Why don't you walk a little bit closer, like, a little bit more, and I think Wenkeshim will be carrying Shosushu. Yeah, that makes sense. I think our Chon really care. I mean, obviously, in his own way, he cared for Cheng Ling. I don't think our Chon was a bad guy. I think he just had some priorities, let's just say. Okay, I guess he was starving. Why are you laughing? <laughs> Why are these two laughing? What? I mean, yeah, hilarious. A dead beggar. <laughs> what is this wrong with these guys? Oh, no. Oh no, what are you going to do? Uncomfortable, this is, this is awkward. Okay, yeah, I, I had forgotten that beggars in this universe are actually like assassins. Like, I, I guess not all of them, but it seems like some of them are. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, that's such a like a big sister move. <laughs> oh, I love how when he turned to turn to stop her. Yeah, that's not going to work. Mm, I don't know if I trust this. Yeah, this this is suspicious as hell. Oh. Oh, that was fast. Well done. Oh, holy shit. What about what about the people? Like, suddenly they all were left. Holy shit, who are these guys? I'm trying to see for their swords, they are scorpions. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, I think they are scorpions. Yeah, there are a lot of them. Someone is a pretty good fighter. Oh, I guess that works. You know what? Whatever works, it works. Oh. Oh, I guess he's learned. Look, look how he he's applying what he learned. Oh well, 
he's still not perfect, but you know what? <laughs> he's learning. You know, all of those hours training, they were useful. Ooh. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, okay, so, oh, this one was pretty quick. <laughs> they, they didn't have a lot of issues fighting. Oh, well, he was helping. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> like, I get why he hates him, but I I don't know. I don't think Shen Shen is that bad. Like, he's an idiot, but I don't know. I don't. He's not a villain. Oh, Wen Kashi was like, why didn't you let him die? Required. What's that mean? <laughs> I love the fact that Shou Sushu has to run interference between these two. Yeah, maybe go check on him. Like, there's obviously assassins around. They might be in danger, so... Let's calmly walk there to see instead of maybe running. Yes, thank you. I I mean, I imagine, like, imagine being a normal person living in a place like this and you have these guys just, you know, <laughs> just start fighting, like, from something. Like, oh. Oh, oh. Was he going to do something? But he's a beggar, so I don't, I, you know, is he just an old beggar? I don't know. There's a lot of scorpions. Oh, there we go. You see, he was, he was one of those beggars. Oh, I'm just, <laughs> Just through Cheng Ning like it was like it was a package, like here we go. Oh holy shit. Too late, I think. Oh she looks disappointed. <laughs> she wanted to do some killing. <laughs> oh, that's so adorable. Like yes, they are assassins. Yeah, they are killers, but they're adorable. <laughs> like what the hell, what are you doing here? It's a long story. There we go, yeah, it, it is a long story. Again, I don't I I don't know. I don't find Shen Chen. Like I, I understand why Wen Kashin might not like him, but I think he's oh, he's obviously an idiot. And but I think he's not essentially bad. I mean, the thing is, I don't know if she saw that she had. He had like a knife.
Yeah, I guess for her it was like either kill or be killed. So it makes sense that she has that attitude. Oh, he's so sweet. Oh, I think it's interesting, like, maybe he sees her as, I, I think maybe he knows, he knows her more that she wants to admit, even to herself. Now I wonder how he would feel if he finds out, like, she's from the Ghost Valley. Because she's, he seems pretty accepting of her. But I don't know if she knows, if he knows that she's a ghost. I don't know what he, if he would be so accepting. I hope yes, because he seems like a nice guy. I kind of wish they were still alive. That is a that is a very weird way to put it. Uh, yeah, I, I don't think that's what he meant. I mean, I hope it isn't. What is this place? It looks like an abandoned house. It's just find a house to say. I think so. Oh, you can be both. Look at this idiot. He's a chevalier and, you know, I don't think he has much brain. Oh, I thought he was going. He was telling him to leave. No, he was okay. He's answering questions. Yeah, I don't believe that. I mean, we know that he didn't, but I never believed it. I think Gauchon had good intentions. I think maybe he didn't go about the right way or something like that, but I don't think he had bad intentions towards Cheng Ling. And also, I don't think he was somebody who's very open with like his affection and things. Oh! Yeah, yeah, thank you, Shou Sushi. Oh. 
Yeah, I don't see him writing like little rhymes. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Well, I think that's that's his problem. That his priorities, I think, weren't great. Wasn't a Scorp it was a scorpion that did like the whole thing, right? I think. Oh, does he recognize him? He did. Oh, Sheng Ling. You are foolish. <laughs> Don't they say? Yeah, I think the answer was pretty obvious. But let's not talk about this anymore, so I'm just going to leave. I think that whole place looks abandoned. But that's not where they're staying. I think that's somewhere else. But like this whole area looks abandoned. <laughs> so it's like he heard you come in. Oh, look at how they look at each other. Like, oh, I cannot stand it. What? So that's that's how they did that. Okay. Yeah, I could have told you that. Like, that was my theory from the start. I never suspected anyone else. Oh, because and now I just remember that Shosuji doesn't know that Wen Kashin is the the leader of the wind of the of the window of heaven. He's not the leader of the Ghost Valley. So I think maybe. I think maybe he knows or he suspects something like that. But I think definitely when Kashin sleep there. Because I don't think he was supposed to know that who, who that ghost was. But to me, I, I can I I don't know. I think Shosu Show already already suspects something. <laughs> Wait a minute. What? 
what am I, what am I, what am I seeing? What am I seeing? Whose idea was to put this scene here? Like, I am, look, oh, I'm, I don't know what to say about this. I know he's talking, but I have to admit that I have no idea what he's saying. My my attention for some reason seems to be focused somewhere else. Oh, that was that was too short. Again, I have no idea what he said. I needed at least another few minutes with that scene. But you know, I was looking respectfully. It wasn't I wasn't being disrespectful to you know his abs. Who's the descendant of Sword Immortal? Isn't he just the Sword Immortal? Or do they think that he's a different person? I thought, yeah, but he was just the Sword Immortal. Oh, right. So they they always knew that there was... I thought they didn't know that there was a key, like there was something else that they needed. But I guess if they created it, it makes sense that they know. That's a good question. Why does he hate him? So that basically, mm. yeah. So I still don't get it. Like he he hated Gao Chong because he looked down on him, or he perceived that he looked down on him. What? I think Scorpion is going to start to realize that this guy is a piece of shit. Again, I th I think that oh he's going to shake it. Oh, that is 
that uh I think uh, Scorpion Kim is going to start to realize that his father is a piece of shit. Well, his father in, you know, you cannot see it, but I'm doing air quotes. Um, so, I don't know. I don't know what to say. I still, I, I feel like I still don't understand Shaoxing completely. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say that seems like something Wen Kashin would say. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, a lot of the alcohol actually tastes terrible. <laughs> That's just reality. Is that is that a good lesson to teach somebody? Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, no wonder, exactly. <laughs> oh, <laughs> she's such an idiot. I, I really, I don't think we had had that much chance of seeing these two interact, but I love it. Yeah, no, no shit. Mm, what day? Oh, the day in the rain, yeah, the one when he broke the flute. Uh, yeah, who's going to be? He's so tall. I well, I don't know if he. Well, I is he, I, I have the Is he tall? Because he had to, like, go down a little bit because the the scene. Oh God! Oh no! <laughs> I, I guess he knows how to appease him. Oh. Well, we know we know who drank it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, please leave me alone with this man. Oh, it is Shen Shen. Yeah, because I thought Shosu Shu doesn't call him that. Or does he? I don't know. Oh, he's going to say something stupid because Shane Shen is an idiot. Oh. Yeah, he didn't directly. Yeah, out of nothing, for no reason he guessed it. Oh. There's something about him and his like other uh, like identity or his past identity that I don't know. He's definitely Oh no. 
the, I, they are dead. I don't think we should remind him of that. Again, I thought it was empty. That, that had liquid on it. Oh, no. Yeah. He has a point there. But that's what I mean about, like, obviously they they didn't behave correctly towards his parents, but I think, I appreciate that at least Shen Shen realizes that, that he knows that they screw up and that he doesn't stand down like, oh. Oh, again with this idea of being, well, yeah, I guess in that sense it is too late. Oh, no. Maybe don't speak now. Maybe just let it go and let's find out about it later because this is not the moment. Oh, no. Oh, oh she was there. Oh, oh no. Uh, always with the blood. Oh. And that is something very interesting that he says, like, they are dead along with Shen Yan, like. I mean, terrible moment, but this is so tender. Oh. And Shou Sushu, who hates blood and still, like, clean up the blood from, oh, no. That's why they they they're just trying to kill me. This show is trying to kill me. I thought he was in he was on fire for a moment. That that candle is very close. He's so slow. <laughs> yes, thank you. But he knew them, because they were all friends back then. Yeah, he didn't... He only partially saved him. Yeah, he wasn't raised. I don't think... Again, Shen Shen is not very quick on the uptake. Yeah, <laughs> that makes sense. Shosu uh, master seemed like a really decent person. Yeah, because those these guys were behaving like idiots. I don't think he agreed with the fact that they, you know... Uh, what is the expression that I'm looking for? Like, turn their backs on Wen Kashin's parents? Which he had a point. Yeah, there we go. You see, that's why I can't really hate Shen Shen. Like, he's an idiot, but you know, he accepts his faults. Yeah, we all agree. You said it. What? This guy? 
Of course he was in World War was he? <laughs> because I'm about to change my whole opinion of Shen Shen. I don't think I don't think he did. I don't I don't think he has the brains for it. I believe him. I can tell you who did it. <laughs> Is Iski going to tell him? Yeah. Yeah. What I mean, why are you blaming him? He's just he's just sleeping there, like Yeah, if if he wakes up he's going to kill Shen Shen. No. That's what I mean. He he really is an idiot, but I, I think ultimately his heart is in the right place. It's just that his brain doesn't seem to work sometimes. Yeah, I think that's for the best. I think he will. But I don't think he will actively go look for him, but I think if he fight if he's in here again, he's going to kill him. And you know what? I feel a little bit sorry for Shen Shen. And wait, hear me out. Was that the end? Oh, just in time. <laughs> just in time when I was about to to go to go on a uh, you know, to go on a little bit of a ramble. Um I feel a little bit sorry for Shen Shen in the sense that I think he's obviously someone that he rely on his brothers a lot. Like I have the feeling because we have never seen him, like, not with his brothers. Like, I assume that he's a sect leader and he has a sect, but I don't think he has been in his sect for, like, the past, I don't know, years or something like that, because we have never seen him there. He's always around. He's always around his brothers. So I have the feeling that he relied on them a lot. And, you know, evidently Gao Chong is dead and now he's starting, I think, definitely... Shows she planted this seed of doubt that maybe Xiao Xing, there was something strange with it, and I I would like to think that he already suspected this, but he's a big dummy, so I don't know if he did. Maybe he needed somebody to spell it out for him. So uh, I feel like now you know he ha he doesn't have anybody anymore. I think he feels like he's completely alone, and maybe. That's why he was so excited of thinking that when Kashin was Shen Yan or, or finding out that. Um, as I said, I don't think Shen Shen, is, listen, he's a himbo. He, 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 his brain, you know, I don't think it's always connected to his mouth. Like sometimes maybe it is, but I haven't seen any proof of it. But I think he doesn't have bad intentions. And I think at least he, he recognized like, oh yeah. Uh, I, I, that was my bad. <laughs> that, that, that was something that I did. And I also appreciate that he's probably the only character that's looking for Gao Chong's daughter, who I think we need to look for her because where is she? What's happening to her? She's, I, I think she's still alive, but maybe we should help her. Um, and I think that maybe something that in particular is maybe something that made, I like to think at least, um, Shen Shen maybe a little bit 
let's say, made it easier for him to think of Shaoxing as something that it wasn't completely a great guy. The fact that he never seemed to care to look for her, for um, Gao Chong's daughter. So I don't know. Again, I'm I'm fine with <laughs> I'm fine with Chen Shen. I don't have any issues with him. Um, I'm I am very curious about him because it seems like I don't know. It seems like something is wrong with Wang Kashin, especially when it comes to his past, to him thinking about his past. So um, I don't know, uh, and but I find it, and I think uh, I already mentioned it, but I find it very interesting that he considers. Uh, Shen Yan as somebody who's dead that is not him um, and I wonder if that didn't start when he, you know, after his parents died or maybe when he went to Ghost Valley like, uh, because one of the things that they was, that was said now I don't remember because I watched the two episodes together now I don't remember, I think it was the, not this episode but the previous one they said that um, you know when you enter the ghost, the ghost valley, um, you have to drink this thing that makes you forget about your addictions, which I think it was probably meant to say obsessions, but you know my issues with these subtitles. Um, so I wonder if, you know, you know, once he drank it, like he saw, like all of his past life, like it was something that is gone, and he, he this is a new person that this is not Shen Yan, and he disassociate himself with who he was before, and that's why he find it so difficult to um you know when for example Shou Su should call him his junior or a you know all all that stuff maybe that's why he find it so difficult because he doesn't consider himself to be himself to be the same person as he was before. And I think maybe that that thing that he had to drink is something that has to do with that. Uh, but I don't know. Okay, so great episodes. I'm loving everything that is happening. Uh, Shaoxing still give me the creeps. And I feel, again, I, I, I don't understand that guy. I don't understand it. Uh, like, I, I assume his motivation is just greed. But at least... um. It's interesting this week that we find out that he knows that there is a key, which makes sense that he knows. Like it makes sense because uh as we saw a few episodes ago, they created the least the, the whole armory and all of that. So it makes sense that they that he knows that there is a key that they have to use to open the armory. But to know that this they he thinks that the Ghost Valley has it, so that's why they are organizing. So I see I assume he thinks that the the leader of the Ghost Valley has it, or this hidden there, which again, it would make sense because we know that the last people to have the key were Wen Kashin's parents. So that supports my theory that Wen Kashin has the key, or he at least knows where it is. He has a good idea. So I don't know. Uh, I don't know. We'll have to see. Okay. So I, I'm really, I'm really enjoying this. I'm really loving it. Uh, and, I know I can't wait to see the next episode, but we'll have to wait. We'll, we'll have to wait at least until the next weekend. So thank you for everyone that stayed with me up to this point. And I'll guess I'll see you uh, next next weekend. And that's it. Bye-bye, guys.